Continue to remember the life of William Donald Schaefer tonight. The saddest day of Schaefer's life might have been in January of 2007. That was his last day in political office. The day Peter Franchot became Maryland State Comptroller. Jamie Costello takes a look back at that day as Schaefer said goodbye to politics. He climbed out of his state-owned sedan for the last time that morning. A marching band played. The entire Comptroller's office cheered. Schaefer pretended he couldn't handle it, maybe so, that he wouldn't cry real tears. It looked like a celebration, but the former mayor, governor, and comptroller knew that it wasn't. Well, it's not a happy day. It's a happy day that, uh, it's a happy day that I'm, I'm leaving, uh, but it's a sad day, very sad. I'm sorry I'm leaving because I had such a great time. I had such great people working in the city and the state. People sang while Schaefer sat and got a little sad before thanking everyone. I couldn't have had more devoted or better employees. We, we did a lot. And now, as General MacArthur said, old comptrollers just fade away. <laughs> it was the end of an emotional week and the end of a political life that will never be repeated. That may be what brought a tear as people talked about George Washington resigning his commission in this same building and Schaefer reflected on his own place in state history. Times like this, it's not just terrible to see an old man cry, but uh, I think it's going to be tough today not to cry on the painting, the tribute, the thing that Ed did. And the one thing that's so great was your, your governor, who had the toughest job in four years of anybody, but anyway, stop talking and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.